Okay, I'm back and I wanted to do a one week follow up review video on the fine woven case, the much maligned fine woven case that has been getting a lot of criticism online. So I have it here in the taupe color. I've been using it with my natural titanium 15 Pro Max. And like I said, I've had this case on uh, for about one week using it normally so i wanted to look over how it's held up after a week and what are kind of my thoughts you know there's a couple of things that i like uh something that i'm kind of neutral about and a few things that i have some concerns and dislikes about so um how has it held up overall i think it's held up pretty well i do notice one thing is that the sides of the natural um sorry the sides of the taupe color seems like they're getting a little bit dark just from handling it because when i hold it in my hand typically in my left hand my fingers rest on the right edge of the phone and my palm will will rest on the left edge of the phone so similar to leather how leather kind of soaks up a little bit of hand oils and things like that it seems like the fine woven material especially in this taupe color is kind of darkening along the high wear spots um, that being said i have not you know collected any kind of stains um, i don't usually put my phone on any kind of dirty surfaces anyway um, but i haven't also been particularly um, careful with it so i'm happy to see that there are no stains um, the other thing to note is that I do use some MagSafe accessories. I have the MagSafe battery pack here that I'll usually have um, charging, you know, near my bedside. And I also, you know, sometimes use the MagSafe wallet. So this is what it looks like with the Midnight Leather MagSafe wallet. So uh, over here you kind of see the two-tone, or actually there's a lot of tones happening here with the soft fine woven on the back, the uh, rubberized fine woven material on the side rails and then the leather texture on the back. So the reason I mentioned that is because um, when I do take it off the charger, there will be a MagSafe imprint where the battery pack is. Um, not really easy to see right now after a week of use. Uh, maybe right there when I take it off, you can kind of see. And then those there's a circular imprint around the Apple logo as well. But what I'm kind of happy to say is that throughout the day, it seems that the weave uh, cloth material does recover a little bit from the MagSafe and most of those lines tend to disappear throughout the day. Now I think that you know possibly if you use it every night for hours at a time over time that the imprint from your MagSafe accessories might end up being permanent on the case so that's one thing that I've noticed. Um, overall that's not really a dislike for me because you know with these kind of Materials, just like leather, I understand that there's a little bit of risk that, you know, um, certain accessories pressing against it all the time will leave a permanent imprint. And um, that does not bother me that much. So that's how the case is held up. The uh, side materials, that's, you know, this kind of fine woven covered in resin material has held up well also. Uh, nothing really of note over there. And I am uh, overall pretty happy with the case. So. What do I like? Well, the first thing that I do like is the in-hand feel. So that was one of my major concerns coming from leather. Um, the fine woven doesn't really replicate the nice organic feel of leather, but the back material is very soft and kind of satiny. And the side material does, you know, as you hold it, does have a kind of a nice rubbery, texturized kind of feel. It is subjective because my wife, uh, she really dislikes the feel of the sides and the back. I think that really fine micro texture kind of gives her a little uh, sensory irritation. So when she holds it, she gets, um, <laughs> she gets really irritated and dislikes it completely. But for me, I do kind of like it. Um, when the phone rests in my hand, most of my fingers are resting on the back of the phone and that soft satin kind of material feels nice. And so too with gripping the sides, it has a nice grippiness to it. So that's one thing that I like. For my unit itself, the cutouts are perfect. I don't have any misalignment issues. So if you're out there and you have some alignment issues with your cutouts, it seems like there's some copy variants. Uh, I would definitely exchange it for another one because mine has no issue with that. And the next thing that I like as well are the buttons. I think Apple's uh, original cases do an excellent job with the buttons. They are aluminum and the edges are beveled slightly so there are no sharp kind of edges. They're very clicky and satisfying to press, especially the action button, very easy and satisfying to press, and the power button as well. So Apple have done a great job. They've continued to do a great job 
with the buttons. Um, something that I'm kind of neutral about that I do notice on my case and some you know uh, people have mentioned online is that if you pay attention to it, there is a little bit of flex especially around the buttons here. Uh, you might hear a little bit of creaking if you press it in. It feels as if there's a little bit of wiggle room in the case and it does kind of make a sound. So let me see if I can put it up to the microphone. Uh, you're not going to really be able to hear it, but it, it's definitely there. There's a tiny bit of flex, but I will say that, you know, that's kind of something I notice when I'm handling the case and observing the case. In the week that I've used it, I haven't noticed that at all. Picking up the phone, holding it in my hand, typing, texting, taking photos, whatever I'm doing, that tiny bit of flex uh, doesn't bother me at all. So that's kind of a neutral point for me. I'm not really bothered about that because in actual usage, it doesn't affect. But, you know, if you're sitting there, Pressing it in, you do notice a little bit of flex. Um, so that brings me to the two main areas of concern that I have. One that I mentioned previously already, which is that, you know, it is kind of a cloth material. So as we've seen online, if you do get any kind of oil stains on it, the material will absorb. Um, which, you know, it does absorb any kind of liquid. So if you take an alcohol, sw alcohol swab, which I do sometimes to wipe down my cases, it'll have a dark wet spot where the alcohol first contacts. Um, so if you get any kind of oil in it and stuff, you might end up with a permanent stain. And especially with the taupe color, you know, with the edges already darkening, I can see that this lighter color might stain and get nasty looking in the future. So if it does stain, I'll be kind of unhappy with that, but so far so good for me in the first week of usage. And my final kind of concern is that sometimes when I take it out of my pocket, the material does feel a little slick. And I think it depends on, you know, like how dry your hands are and stuff, but the material on the sides and on the back is a little bit, can be a little bit soft and slippery. So. I actually had an incident where I was taking the phone out of my pocket and it actually slipped out of my hand and fell on the floor. So there's a pro pros and cons to that. Um, when it fell, the case has not shown any kind of damage. I think it might have fallen on the front edge there. Um, the case ha don't, doesn't show any kind of damage, but I do kind of contribute the case falling to the texture being slippery because I pulled it out and I think, you know, it kind of slipped along the back of my fingers. Um, Usually I don't drop my phone, so that is one area of concern. Um, I will say though that as you use it, it feels like, you know, the longer you use it, the more your fingers kind of grip it. So that was something that I experienced just taking the case out. The phone is fine, so the case did protect the phone. That is a plus. But my screen protector, I had the Spigen screen protector on. That screen protector cracked along the top edge of the phone, which is why I think that's where the phone made contact, but you can see on the case that there's no visible signs of damage along this uh, rubbery side rail, so that was good. Um, kind of a uh, blessing in disguise because um, this <laughs> speaking and screen protector cracked. I replaced it with this uh, Taurus brand screen protector uh, that has been making the rounds on uh, Mac Rumor forums and on Reddit, and I'm very happy with this screen protector compared to the speaking screen protector. Um, you can kind of see it over here. It has a very thin black edge over there. And uh, I think the installation process and stuff was very nice. So um, those are kind of my thoughts after a week of using the fine woven case. Overall, I'm actually kind of um, liking the case. I know there's a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of criticism online about it. You know, I think that if you're just a normal user and you're not intentionally trying to place permanent crack, um, permanent scratches on it, uh, you might be happy with it. Uh, that being said, I think the darker colors like the evergreen and the black uh, might hold up better over time as far as um, absorbing, you know, finger sweat and, you know, collecting a patina. So if you're concerned about how that's gonna look, uh, probably better to get a darker case. And yeah, overall, those are my thoughts. Um, overall, I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty happy with it. Um, I do think that it could be a little bit cheaper. It feels like a case that should kind of start at $40 and the silicone case should be a little bit cheaper. But, um, you know, that's, uh, that's Apple. If you're buying an Apple OEM product, you're going to pay the Apple tax. So, um, hope that helps some of you out there and thanks for watching.